Hi there, my name is Jules and welcome to my channel, Jules Street. Today's video is all about the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet and here she is. I mentioned this wallet in my SLG collection video, but I've been using this wallet quite a bit since then and I wanted to share my experience and give you some key information about the wallet and show you what it looks like when it's filled to the brim so you can get a good idea of you know, its capacity, and just some general information in case you were considering purchasing it. Stay tuned until the end if you want to hear things to avoid when purchasing this wallet, because there are a couple of things. I have completely emptied this wallet so you could get a feel for it when it's empty. It's a lovely compact envelope style that is quite geometric in the front, and it's in the classic monogram Louis Vuitton canvas material. The canvas is on the outer portion of the wallet and it is one piece in a unidirectional pattern. So what I mean by that is, as you can see, this whole outer piece is just one piece of canvas and it's all going in one pattern. This version of the Victorine wallet has the gold top snap closure hardware that makes for a very satisfying pop. And inside is this gorgeous caramel brown leather interior with six card slots total, two extra compartments underneath the card slots, a cash slot back here, and a small coin purse as well. The coin purse also features the second piece of gold hardware in the form of the zipper of the coin slot and the zipper pull, at least this ring right here. It has this nice leather pull that matches the interior of the wallet. It's a nice little touch. It looks like um, a little bit like a tie almost. And when you close up the wallet, let me close the zipper. When you close up the wallet, you can hide that pull in or you can leave it hanging out um, like so and it can just you know hang out like this but I prefer it to be hanging inside or tucked away inside and it just looks nice and neat like that. The heat stamp of the wallet is located right here and as you can see my piece was made in Italy and this wallet currently retails for $575. And I'll also include the dimensions right here just in case you're interested in the details. The Victorine wallet comes in all the different canvases with different interiors like a beautiful fuchsia leather interior option that has the nice, the matching fuchsia button. And it even comes in a fully emprunt leather as well. I picked this canvas exterior version because I wanted this particular wallet to be as durable as possible while also having a durable but leather interior. Louis Vuitton canvas is quite durable in my experience and it doesn't get damaged or wear easily and it's a lot more carefree. You don't have to worry about it as much. And I also do quite like the classic monogram and I thought it looked quite cute in this piece and it paired really gorgeously with, with the caramel brown interior on the inside and it just made it all the more attractive. The most attractive part of this wallet to me is its functionality. It is such a compact and stylish wallet and yet it has the perfect balance of storage items that I need on the day-to-day -day while still staying quite neat and compact. So I really do love all the card storage um, here. So there's, as I said before, six slots and then there's also these really nice spacious compartments that I also fill with cards as well. And I love that I have the option to carry cash and I'm not worried about my cash falling out because of how compact and tight the wallet is. Let me show you the side profile of the wallet while it's empty because I feel like it is quite different from when it's full. It looks like there's a lot of gaps when it's empty, but that fills up pretty quickly. So let me go ahead and fill this wallet with the maximum amount of my daily items so that you can see what she looks like at full capacity. All right, so this is what the Victorine wallet looks completely full. Let me show you from all the angles. 
So as you can see here, this is the side angle from this side. And here it's a little bit different. And that is because of the way the card slots are set up. Here is the bottom of the wallet. You can see it's a little thicker on this side than it is on this side. And the top of the wallet, same thing. And that is because of the way the card slots are set up. So I am using up all six of the card slots, the cash pocket, and I only have a couple of coins in the coin purse, but I also do have um, 10 cash bills in the cash pocket. I have 14 cards in here. So I have the six cards here and then four cards in each of the slots back here. I only have two coins in the coin purse because that's actually just all the coins I have at the moment. But in general, I don't like to put a lot of coins in this because I feel like it creates, it becomes very lumpy and distorted because of how compact the wallet is. So I definitely would say that one downfall of this wallet is that if you have a lot of coins, this doesn't really accommodate that very nicely. But I will say overall, I think a strength of this wallet is that you can carry quite a few, quite a large amount of cards. I have, like I said, I have 14 cards in here right now and I can still carry cash and just those couple of coins. The card slots are very secure. I don't feel concerned that anything is going to fall out of here. I recommend that you don't push the cards all the way in in the beginning because honestly, it's actually very difficult to get them out um, in the beginning, but it does loosen up a bit as you use the wallet. Now that it's full, as you can see that it's a bit top heavy this side, um, and that is just because of the way the cards are um, stored. Um, honestly, I feel like if they had switched this around, it would be more even, but it doesn't make that much of a difference to me. Um, I think it still looks pretty balanced. This really is such a versatile wallet and it is really compact, which I think is its most attractive quality other than how it looks, of course. Um, and that is why I think it's the overall perfect daily wallet. I don't have any trouble closing the wallet like this. It really easily fits in all my crossbodies and my coat pockets and my handbags. And I'm absolutely loving using this wallet and would recommend it to anybody that is looking for a small classic wallet that can accommodate a lot of cards, but still has space for cash and a couple of coins. This brings me to my last point about this wallet, and that is what you should pay attention to if you are shopping around for this wallet, the alignment. Now I'm talking about when the wallet is empty because it's a little difficult to see this when it's full because of the distortions I talked about if you take into account the alignment in the beginning when it's empty, that distortion won't be as obvious. And so let me empty out the wallet just to show you. So when the wallet is empty, the monogramming should be perfectly symmetrical and the alignment between this top folding part and the bottom part should also be symmetrical and balanced. And what I mean by that is that it, this shouldn't be slanted this way and it shouldn't be slanted this way either. Nothing should be uh, wonky, especially when it's empty. So the reason I'm mentioning this is when I purchased this wallet, I was actually shown a wallet that had a weird like wonky slant like this. And I asked to see a different one and this one was a lot more symmetrical. The pattern lined up really well and it's just something that you should be careful about when you are making a purchase that is as expensive as this because the last thing you want is a wonky wallet and then once you start putting your cards in with the way it's designed it's just gonna look even wonkier and even more like off balance that's just one thing to keep in mind and I, like i said i always like to make sure that the uh, monogramming is also kind of lined up because that is not always something that happens and that is more specific to if you are considering a monogram wallet. Those are just some things to consider that I value that I thought maybe I would share. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this mini review, overview, and tips and tricks when it comes to the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. I hope that this information was helpful. 
let me know in the questions down below if you have any questions at all and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I would love if you liked and subscribed and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!